the my uh, I am uh, I'm I'm in the National Center for Global Health and Medicine in Tokyo, Japan. And today, uh, thank you very much to Professor Sanz and uh, uh, Professor Hon and Professor Dr. Zap to uh, invite me uh, to the nice uh, conference. So my presentation is, uh, uh, today's session is uh, uh, Diagnosis and Treatment of Non-Tuberculosis Mycobacterium, NTM. The, today, I will present uh, uh, minimum requirements for the clinician, because uh, I'm a clinician, and I'm not an uh, expert of uh, microbiology, or I'm not, and all, I'm not uh, the expert of radiology. So, uh, however, uh, in Japan, I'm uh, treating many patients with NTM. And so, uh, this slide, this uh, presentation, Today is contain a lot of uh, uh, knowledge and experience that I get. So uh, today's content is uh, basic knowledge on NTM and diagnosis and treatment and case presentation. The first, what is my, my microbacteria? So uh, every, as everybody uh, might know, microbacteria means uh, fungus like uh, growing on the surface of the in the cultures. And uh, these are uh, called acid fasted bacilli on smear. And mycobacterium includes uh, tuberculosis, TB. That is the most uh, important uh, for the uh, infection control. And also uh, it will contain uh, lepli and the other uh, majority is a non-NTM. So, what is NTM? NTM are naturally found in the soil and water and represent over 180 species. The most of them does not cause human disease. However, only a small number of NTM become pathogenic. And they cannot be identified uh, correctly by gram stain or normal cultures, bacterial cultures. And mainly cause pulmonary infection and rarely skin bone lymph node or systemic dissemination. And uh, generally, uh, more difficult to cure than drug suspected TB. So uh, we can find NTM everywhere. In the uh, drainage in the bathroom, or shower head, or aquarium, or filter, filters in the air conditioner, or the shoe box, or gardens. Honestly speaking, this is uh, my house in Tokyo. <laughs> so how NTM affect human? The exposure of environmental sources of NTM can lead to NTM entering the lung. In most cases, the NTM microorganisms are eliminated from the lung. In some people, or in some conditions, uh, NTM infects the airways and lung tissues and causes chronic airway and pulmonary inflammation, infection. So, and uh, uh, everybody uh, might know uh, that the human-to-human -human transmission is not reported so far. So NTM species causing human disease, uh, which cause human disease, sorry. So there are a lot of species, many species. However, uh, some species are very uh, majority of infection to the, uh, to the human beings. And uh, the, at that time, the first step of uh, differentiating NTM is uh, the differentiation from TB. That is most important. And uh, so uh, now, uh, what is the topics for clinicians? The differentiation of TB is most important. And uh, now uh, we are reported to the growing number. 
number of NTM patients. And the find the treat and the cap and for the curable NTM. That is important. And the nutrition guidance is the most important non drug therapy in the non drug therapy. <laughs> so the second part is diagnosis. So when should we suspect NTMs? So when we, uh, the doctors see the patient with a chronic respiratory symptom, basically these symptoms are not that specific, such as cough, sputum, bloody sputum, chest pain, or body weight loss or fatigue, or this near on exertion. So, sorry, and the. So, and the doctor will order the chest x-ray for the chronic cough. Then the, the doctor may find, might find the bronchiectasis or cavity region or other uh, findings on chest x-ray. So, uh, and uh, mainly sputum or coughing, uh, the doctors will um, suspect a chronic airway infection. At that time, uh, a lot of uh, respiratory medicine doctors uh, order the sputum test for bacterial culture. And also, we should order the at the same time for the AFP, smear, and culture. <laughs> the factors making diagnosis of NTM difficult is uh, some, some, some uh, uh, non -spec specific respiratory symptom because. And NTM has a similar X-ray finding with the other chronic bacterial infection. And the uh, NTM has a co-infection with other microorganisms, such as fungi or pseudomonas or the other NTMs. And uh, it is difficult to detect by gram stain. And they are uh, difficult to isolate by uh, usual bacterial cultures. And unless TB, isolation, uh, unlike TB, isolation does not necessarily indicate the disease, NTM disease. So uh, many physicians does not care about NTM. This situation is uh, maybe the same all, all over the world. So this is a diagnosis or criteria of NTM. The first is a uh, microbiological, uh, at least uh, two or more sputum samples is required. Or when we perform bronch fibroscopy, at least one bronch fiber alveolar lavage or wash is required. Or lung biopsy and some culture. And the second uh, is a radiological diagnosis. Uh, that uh, are compatible with NTM, shows a uh, nodular and capillary opacity. Later, I will show a lot of uh, chest X-rays. And the clinical is, uh, that as, uh, as, as, as I presented, the chronic respiratory symptoms. So the first, uh, I will present the clinical diagnosis. Maybe uh, everybody knows that. So especially, uh, the blood sputum, blood sputum hemoptysis is uh, uh, a little bit higher than the TB. So this is the uh, second is uh, radiological diagnosis. <laughs> so uh, roughly uh, the X-ray finding of the radiological was uh, uh, of the NTM was divided into the two. Uh, main patterns. The first we call NB type, which is uh, uh, the nodular shadow and bronchiectasis of mixed type. And the second is FC type for the fibrosis and cavity region. The other uh, we, uh, we, have, we see in the chest x ray for the consolidation or volume loss. So, uh, distribution of the lung. Uh, is very important to uh, suspect which kind of uh, NTM is uh, infected. So when you see the upper lung field, at first we will suspect Mycobacterium cancer C or FC type, cavitary type MAC. 
And the uh, very important uh, differential diagnosis is a TB in that region. And the next is a lower language. Mainly the, these uh, pattern of any team have a uh, disease or a finding in the middle in lingual lobe. So uh, this is a uh, differential. Uh, uh, this is a differential diagnosis as a general bacteria. Of course, uh, there are a lot of other species of uh, NTM diseases. The, these uh, have uh, some tendency of getting upper or lower lung field, or some species have uh, both diseases. So this is a typical uh, shadow of uh, MAC with a bronchiectasis. Uh, this patient uh, is now is uh, uh, very getting worse. So the, we can see the bronchiectasis. And somewhat, uh, this, is, is, this looks like the uh, reticular or polycystic-like -like lesion. 15 years ago, the patient was a very small disease. Just uh, we need to find the lingular shadow. Please don't miss the positive <coughs> shield sign on the cardiac shadow. So this is a chest CT at, uh, fifth, at uh, uh, 15 years ago, and uh, the reason. <coughs> the same time as the chest x-ray. So now, at first, uh, we can see the small bronchiectasis there in the lingual lobe. Now, uh, this looks like there are some uh, lot of uh, cystic lesion. But this is basically uh, the result of multiple bronchiectasis. So next comes the uh, nodular and bronchiectatic pattern. This is a uh, patient with uh, mycobacterium abscesses. The bronchiectasis here and the nodular opacity. Uh, now you can see that in the middle of the uh, multiple bronchiectasis. And the other, this is a typical uh, central lobular nodular pattern. These are the typical uh, NGM or chronic airway infections pattern. This is a cavitary MAC. Uh, cavity, uh, most we can see that that's gone. And also we can see the bronchiectasis lasting to the cavity. <coughs> this is a uh, upper lobe, uh, some, some exception. And this is a 60, that, sorry, uh, 26 years old May. Has which who has a, uh, some cavitary lesion on the upper lung lobes. At first, uh, we suspected that mycobacter cancer infection or TB. However, uh, the bronchofibroscopy revealed MAC. That patient was treated by the uh, surgical intervention. <laughs> so, uh, of course, uh, uh, when we see the bronchiectasis, there are a lot of uh, different uh, pathogens. This is uh, uh, just like the uh, <coughs> middle lobe and lingual involvement with uh, bronchiectasis or volume loss. However, uh, this patient has a uh, various MS, uh, Staphylococcus aureus or influenza, uh, hemophilus influenza, uh, bacterial infection, and never uh, we found the MAC. This is not the NTM. So next comes, uh, uh, here we go to the microbiological diagnosis. So uh, microbiology, uh, minimum requirement for the clinician is at first to take the correct sampling. This is a sputum correct sample. Uh, if we have a, a patient that has a, a lot of sputum, it is very uh, reliable to the outcome. However, uh, many um, NTM patients has a cough 
or chest X abnormal shadow, but no sputum sometimes. So in that cases, uh, we will recommend the bronchopyroscopy or induced sputum with a, a hypercellane nebulizer. However, uh, when we use these kind of uh, intervention, so we have to take care of the uh, contamination of MTA. <laughs> so in the laboratory, uh, we need to understand uh, which kind of processes is uh, performed in the laboratory setting. The first is a microscopic finding and uh, a rapid a genetic diagnosis, such as PCRs, or AFB cultures. And then, uh, uh, finally, uh, the lab technicians will identify the species. And then uh, we need, uh, we will perform the uh, therapy or observation for the patients. So uh, this is a very small. So this is a microscopic finding of uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis and cancer C. Basically, uh, this uh, positive finding is we, 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 we receive the report just uh, AFB positive. But when we ask the laboratory technicians, uh, some suggestion will come. This, uh, you can see the mycobacterium cancer C is just uh, positive for AFB. However, this looks like the, the, the small dot or ladder-like sign. This is different from the typical TB or MAC. And the next uh, step is a rapid genetic diagnosis. Uh, now uh, we have a uh, uh, gene expert in, uh, in, uh, uh, in the diagnosis of uh, uh, TB or some PCR method. Within the one day, we will uh, get, uh, get the result for the MAC, MAC or intercellular. However, uh, for the NTM, uh, the, the identification we require uh, or other NTM, for all many, most of NTM, the identification of, uh, will require culture-based techniques, which takes uh, more than one month. So this is a, a AFB culture method. There are two methods, uh, liquid, uh, bio, uh, liquid culture and uh, solid culture. So these, these each has a, uh, some, char some characteristic. In the liquid, in the liquid media, uh, when we have uh, uh, AFB, the, we will see the microscopic finding with uh, uh, TB or mycobacterium abscesses, which shows a code, code formation. When we see this kind of uh, code formation, the, the pathogen, pathogen is not the MAC. Mycobacterium doesn't form these kind of cold formation. And also, cancer she has some cold. And uh, for the solid medium, uh, this is a, sorry. This is a TB, and the MAC, and the cancer C, and abscesses. You can see there's some difference between them. So basically, a TB is uh, look like a rough, rough colony, and the uh, MAC and Kansas C is a smooth colony, and the uh, abscesses are also a uh, um, rough colony, but uh, it will grow very fast. And uh, this is a uh, yellow. You can see the yellow. This is a uh, characteristic of Mycobacterium cancer C. Uh, this is called uh, photochromatic, chromic, photochromic change. So uh, when we see this kind of, uh, we suspect this is uh, not a TB or this is not a MAC, we can suspect. So other tools for diagnosis is a genetic di diagnosis for identification. It will take uh, around one or two months or a serological diagnosis in method is there. So treatment. Uh, now uh, we present just the minimum uh, for the treatment modality. For treatments, the uh, MAC, the drug therapy, and the surgical intervention is the basic op uh, options. 
and uh, for the, there are uh, different uh, basic regimens. The MAC uh, is basically uh, treated with uh, rifampicin, etamiftol, chrysomycin, and some injectable agent. Uh, we call uh, RAC or something. Then the mycobacterial cancer is look like the, uh, just uh, the, uh, almost the same regime with the TB. Is a uh, isoni uh, agitol, rifampicin, and etamiftol. And mycobacterium abscessus, this is a rapid grower, it's a com uh, completely different. These kind of uh, uh, TB, uh, anti-TB agent is not effective. So uh, when we find the mycobacterium abscessus infection, uh, we will uh, treat, uh, we have to treat by the imipenem, amicacin, chrysomycin contained main. So, uh, so that is a very important uh, uh, thing to that uh, to identify which kind of microorganism, which kind of species is uh, uh, coming for the patient. The basically, uh, chrysomycin is the uh, key medicine. <laughs> so the, uh, my final part is a uh, uh, case presentation. Now uh, we. Uh, talk, uh, we speak uh, some um, characteristic, typical uh, characteristic. When you see the, uh, see the chest x abnormal shadow in the lower uh, lung field, uh, we suspect uh, at first mark. This is a uh, case already presented. The second is the other type of mark. This is a capital, have the capitalism. The, because uh, the patient was 88 years old, very high aged, the, uh, we uh, decided uh, she is not uh, indicated to the treatment. So just we observed, but these kind of patients uh, frequently have a blood disputum or new, uh, recurrent pneumonia, or sometimes pseudomonas or aspergillus co-infection but it is difficult to treat this kind. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is a, a case with a mycobacterium abscessus. Uh, is uh, nutritionally uh, not, so, not so bad. BMI was 19 point. She uh, tried uh, to have, uh, to eat very, very, a lot of, a lot of foods and the uh, appetite is okay. So now uh, she is treating with uh, uh, chrysomycin, phallopenem, moxiprofusacin, and sometimes uh, she require uh, hospitalization to, uh, to receive the injectable agents. Now still uh, she has a refractory, however uh, disease uh, are not so rapidly growing. The nutrition is very important. The case four is a mycobacterium cancer. This patient uh, is uh, a rather uh, aggressive disease for the uh, typical mycobacterium cancer infection because uh, this, uh, you can see the very uh, large uh, extent of uh, chest uh, consolidation. <laughs> and uh, at, at, that time, at that time, sputum AFP smear was positive. But the, uh, my morphology, morphology is uh, not uh, uh, typical for the TB. So, uh, first, we suspected by chest X-ray and the symptom we suspected uh, TB. However, the morphology of microscopic finding was different. Then, so uh, we uh, de uh, decided to give the patient uh, with HRE treatment uh, because we suspected microbacterial cancer. It was a uh, very uh, very treatment reaction is good, good clinical course. This is uh, uh, the curable antibiotic. The cancer share is very uh, easy, e easier to treat. So there are some difference between uh, TB and cancer C is reported. So this is a microscopic differences. So uh, the factor uh, of related to this, is uh, some various. The hem when patients have a hem hem disease, uh, we need to take care of uh, the suddenness. 
or the vascular intubation is necessary sometimes. Or uh, lasting fever or body weight loss or fatigue, con uh, continuous fatigue, is also the factors related to this. And also the uh, extent of chest access wide uh, region, which will uh, cause the pulmonary function disturbance or the inflammatory markers elevated. So uh, at first, but uh, when we treat, uh, we, we are difficult to treat these kind of patients, the nutritional education intervention is the most important. So the, this is a, the summary one. When you find the upper lung field region, so at first uh, we need distinguish TB and my work with cancer cell or other lady. And the summary two is when we find the lower uh, involvement, the first hour we need to suspect MAC. And also we need to uh, rule out or need to find the co-infection of general bacteria. So uh, please be careful for the bronchiectasis. Uh, at first, uh, it is difficult to find on the chest X-ray, but uh, these patients has a chronic symptom, so uh, we will be take care and, uh, to find the bronchiectasis on chest X-ray. This is the first step. And order AVFB smear culture together with the gram stain and bacterial cultures. <laughs> this is a uh, uh, so suspect uh, NTM infection. Uh, we we imagine is a very important. And uh, please ask and discuss frequently with the laboratory staff in your hospitals. This is very important. And this uh, laboratory technician has uh, very important information for the uh, diagnosis of the NTM. And to rule out TB is the first step of the diagnosis. And try not to miss the mycobacterial cancer infection, which is very uh, good to treatable agents. So, thank you very much. Vâng, xin cảm ơn.